Tensura's popularity cannot be understated, especially for an isekai. Looking at Tensura's runtime, its 9 hour and 12 minute duration was in line for the 3 24 episode anime that released in its fall 2018 season. But expanding our scope to the average duration of the 15 24 episode anime that released in 2018, it was 44 minutes above average. And then compared against the average duration of the 108 24 episode anime released in all of the 2010s, it was 46 minutes above average. And if you decide to watch all of Tensura, its 4 seasons, 1 side story, 1 spin off, and 4 other related medias, this little maneuver will cost you 35 hours and 41 minutes of your life. Rookie numbers for a One Piece fan. But season 1 of Tensura was actually an anomaly. Because by 2018, the anime industry already made the biggest change in production trends that would change anime viewing habits and fan expectations forever. Shorter anime. If we were to take all the anime made each year and divide them up into two categories, short anime, anime that are 13 episodes or less, and long anime, anime that are 14 episodes or more, on a graph. We see Reincarnated as a Slime was made 5 years after anime started being made shorter in 2013. If I had to guess, the change to making shorter anime was largely because anime studios run on thin margins. To help protect themselves against a single anime flopping, which would have been devastating, they switched to making two short seasons for the price of one long anime season. So the fact Studio 8-Bit made Tensura 24 episodes long and have an above average runtime for 24 episode anime of the 2010s, and the fact that this is an isekai anime shows they took a big gamble that this show would succeed. And succeed, it did. Anyway, this is the complete statistical breakdown of everything about that time I was reincarnated as a slime. Compared against its fellow 289 fall 2018 anime, it ranks second best of the season, only losing out to Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai, a drama romance anime about a boy having a schizo break seeing his classmate dress in a bunny girl outfit that nobody seems to notice. But domain expanding to all 1,211 anime made in 2018, it ranks in 6th place as the most popular anime of that year. Which is very respectful considering 1st and 2nd place are Powerhouse Seasons, Attack on Titan Season 3, and My Hero Academia Season 3. And then lastly, domain expanding again, which still isn't enough space for your mom, Reincarnated as a Slime ranks 60th place as the most popular anime of the 2010s, compared against all 10,714 anime made in that decade. Holy moly. Holy moly. So not only did it do well in a seasonal and yearly context, but also a decade context. Considering at its essence Tensura is just a wish fulfilling and isekai anime, this performance is just incredible and shows you the quality that was put into this anime. But while being successful for its time, would Tensura be successful if it was made today? If we look at the number of anime made each year with the same themes and genres and Tensura, we can see some interesting patterns. For the isekai theme, Tensura was made when isekai was on the up and up before it just exploded in popularity in 2020, along with its reincarnation theme. In terms of Tensura's genres, it was for sure following the action and fantasy trends of the anime industry going on the up and up. But for the comedy genre, we see Tensura was made after comedy peaked in popularity in 2016. To be fair, that was when Konosuba released. Now this is the disclaimer part of the video where I'd like to remind everybody that while we are incredibly fortunate to have all of this data, it's not 100% accurate. All database sites, including my anime list, rely on dedicated fans taking the time to catalog and enter all the facts about the anime you are seeing. So there is bound to be some human error here and there in the data. I bring this up because my anime list has incorrectly marked Tensura's source material as a manga, when in fact it was a light novel. And before that it was a web series, but, but my anime list only looks at like published Japanese media, not necessarily fan sites like uh, Shosetsu Kaninaro. Anyway, point being, although the following graphs highlight manga, we're talking about light novels here. Looking at the source breakdown of anime made in 2018, we see 5.7% of all anime released that year were originally light novels, compared to the big 24 where that number jumped to 9.8%, almost doubling in 6 years. And this goes back to my reasoning earlier why the anime industry swapped to making more short anime in 2013 as a way to reduce risk. The anime industry is doing the same by switching from making more anime originals to making more adaptations. Who in their right minds would adapt an unsuccessful IP into an anime? So back to my question earlier, would Tensura succeed if it was made today? Well, kind of. Although Isekai was considered oversaturated even in 2018, that is nothing compared to how much Isekai is being made today. And considering even less long anime are made today than in 2018, 
I find it hard to believe Tensura would exist in the same form if it was made today. More than likely, it would probably be a 12 episode adaptation and receive less critical acclaim just from the sheer fact of how much isekai it has to compete against. Which also is kind of crazy to think about the success of an anime largely has to do with the fact of its timing. Alright, but now that we've talked about its industry trends, let's talk about the mastermind behind what you saw on the screen, the director. Tensura was directed by Kichiki Yasuhito. Over his 38 year career in the anime industry so far, he has directed 18 anime and has held various roles in 40 other anime. If we look at his role breakdown across all anime he has made before Tensura, we see he has had a lot of director experience, but also a lot of experience doing storyboarding, key animation, and being the animation director as well. Which I get, it takes a village to make an anime, so we can't give all the credit of this anime's success to the director. But having an experienced director like him helps explain the quality that you see on screen for Tensura's season 1 adaptation. Um, speaking of experience, before Kichiki Yasuhito directed Reincarnated as a Slime, he directed 100 hours and 34 minutes worth of anime. And after he directed season 1 of Tensor, he directed an additional 2 hours and 11 minutes of anime, totaling 111 hours and 57 minutes of anime directed to date. TLDR, he's played these games before. He knows what he was doing. Every shot, every scene, every sequence you saw on season one was built atop of hundreds of hours of anime directed prior. But while this director is incredibly experienced, it is nothing compared to the big leagues. Because he ranks 149th against the anime directors with the most hours directed in anime. And compared to the big leagues, what he has done is merely a drop in the bucket. And of course, comparing the popularity, Tensura is the most popular anime Kichiki Yasuhito has directed so far. As you can imagine, the vast majority of anime tend to be mostly Japanese only with the occasional English dub. But Reincarnated as a Slime was dubbed into seven languages, English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, and Spanish. Which puts it in the elite club of the 473 anime that have their anime adapted into seven languages. While that's an incredible feat on its own, showing like just how like wide-reaching Tensura was as an anime being adapted into all of these languages, 2018 was an anomaly in and of itself. Because 40 anime from that year were adapted into 7 languages, which goes against what you would expect based off of the overall trending data. Looking at all 68 characters featured in Season 1 of Tensura, Rimuru is the most popular so far with 23,572 favorites, is what you would expect for a main character of this series. But if we take the most popular character from each anime made in Fall 2018 and compare them against each other, Rimuru ranks 11th out of 138 for the most popular character of the season, and ranks 21 out of 448 for the most popular character of the year, and then ranks 49th out of 2,703 for the most popular character from the 2010s. And keep in mind, this is based off the most popular character from each anime, not the entirety of anime characters. But now that we have yapped about like all this like tertiary data around Tensura, let's look at what the community thinks statistically. Within the anime community today, Tensura is the 6th most popular anime of 2018 and 82nd most popular anime of all time. If you were to watch this anime, there is a 97% likelihood you will finish it based off of the number of reported my anime list users who have completed versus dropped the show. And what that means is, if you were to start watching it, you are going to finish it. It's got hype and aura. But yes, 97% of people watching the show will finish it. How do they rank it? Well, looking at the score distribution for Tensura, most people tend to rate it an 8 out of a 10 anime. But comparing Tensura against the average score distribution of all anime, we see it overperforms in 10, 9, and 8. But if we compare Tensura against the average score distribution of the top 100 anime, we see it underperforms in people rating it a 10 and a 9, but still overperforms in people rating it an 8. Which confirms the point I said earlier that yes, this is an isekai anime, and it's not going to change your view or like leave you with any like deep thinking, but it's fun. On my anime list, there have been 346 anime reviews written about Tensura, making it the 95th most reviewed anime of all time. But that's not the whole story. If we look at the word count of all the reviews written about Tensura, we find it has 118,469 words written across all of its reviews, and has 8,579 unique words across all of its reviews. 
But if we break the reviews down into four buckets, 500 words or less, 500 to 1,000 words, 1,000 to 1,500 words, and 1,500 plus words, we see most people tend to write reviews of 500 words or less for this anime. And then looking at if a user who wrote a review recommends the anime, we find 59.8% of all users who wrote a review about Tensura recommend it, 19.4% do not, and then 20.8% have mixed feelings about it. And then looking at the average review lengths of recommend, don't recommend, or have mixed feelings, people who have mixed feelings on average tend to write the longest reviews. And then finally, looking at all the reviews on a timeline, Tensura has had the most reviews written about it in 2019, with the second highest in 2021, which coincides with the fact people were locked in and had nothing else to do but watch anime that year. And then it kind of like tapers off in the mid-20s after that, which based off of the other anime we looked at this way, that is pretty standard. So what does all the data tell us about Tensura's place in anime history? Well, the numbers paint a clear picture. Tensura was lightning in a bottle. It hit the market at the perfect time when Isekai was on the up and up but not yet oversaturated. When studios were still more likely to gamble on making a long anime series versus a short one. And when the novelty of an Isekai anime hasn't quite worn off yet. With an experienced director at the helm, gorgeous animation from 8-bit studios, and a story that perfectly balances wish fulfillment with genuine heart, Tensura didn't just succeed, it dominated, ranking 60th amongst all anime released from the 2010s. Personally, I would rate that time I got reincarnated as the slime as an 8 out of 10, just like most other people who watch the series. It's not going to change your life like Evangelion, or have you at the edge of your seat like Steins Gate, but it absolutely nails what it sets out to do, be a fun, heartwarming power fantasy with high quality animation through and through. And honestly, sometimes that's exactly what we need. If this deep dive into anime data scratched your analytical itch, please like and subscribe. Or, or, or better yet, Ben, should the viewers like and subscribe if they enjoyed the video? Yes. Yeah. Alright, thank you, thank you. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully I will see you next time. Peace.